getting it absolutely beautiful. What we do in the cake cutting ceremony, and this is something that is practiced all over the world, pretty much in the format as you're going to see it. In other words, Happy birthday, U.S. Marine. Please present the cake. the video today we are at Kiao coffee break on the dark side up here in Patia. great establishment the owner is Shane who is an American veteran himself the VFW guys were up here and we were all gathered today in celebration of United States Marine Corps birthday hoorah so it was an outstanding event and what I wanted to do today is make this little video. It was hosted by the American Legion Post number two in Thailand. That's right, there is now an American Legion Post in Pattaya. For all of you veterans that may not be aware, because it is a relatively new post, so be sure to look in the description box below and I'll put the link for the American Legion and the other veterans groups in our area. If you're a veteran here in the Kingdom of Thailand, you are not alone. This was an outstanding event, again, to celebrate the birthday of the United States Marine Corps. They had a tremendous amount of food, and you can contact Shane up here at the Kao Coffee Shop and see who he had all of these fantastic meats catered by. There were some fantastic smoked meats, a lot of great food, but the best thing was the camaraderie amongst the veterans here. And that's the reason I wanted to put the video together today, guys. Celebrate the contributions that the American vets have made to the Kingdom of Thailand, especially the Vietnam era guys. So what I want to do is take you back into history circa 1966 in the establishment of the Satahip Navy Pier and the Utapau Airport. So let's take a look back. So we're going to look at some vintage video footage of the construction of the Satahip Pier on the Royal Thai Navy Base, as well as the construction of the Utapau Airport, which is about 10 miles from the Deep Sea Pier. This opening footage here is the ceremony and dedication of the cooperation between the United States military and the Royal Thai military at the beginning of developing a new Deep Sea Pier at Satahip. Many of you may not know, but prior to the Vietnam era, the only Deep Sea Pier that the Kingdom of Thailand had was in Bangkok. And it was obviously very, very busy with commercial shipping. So they needed another Deep Sea Pier. And the United States Navy civil engineers scouted the coastline of Thailand to discover where would be the best spot to develop a new deep sea pier. And that turned out to be on the Eastern seaboard 
here off the coast of Chonbury at Satihip. So the construction of the deep it was a major, massive construction project to build this deep sea pier and the Royal Thai Navy and the Royal Thai military in general were the big facilitators for the United States Navy civil engineers to develop this deep sea pier, which is still very, very active today. As a matter of fact, it's just barely second to the deep sea pier at Bangkok for the amount of payload that is offloaded at the Satihip Deep Sea Pier. The, the contributions that the United States military made in the development of not only the Satihip Deep Sea Pier, but also the Utapau Airport, as well as many other military bases here in the Kingdom of Thailand, are just enormous. You cannot underrate what the great American veterans of the Vietnam era have done for the Kingdom of Thailand. So that's why I wanted to kind of throw in some of this vintage footage so that these great American heroes of the Vietnam era that never really got the respect that they deserve, that maybe they can look back on some of these images and take pride in knowing the contributions that they've given to Thailand. So long after the fall of Saigon, there were still communist insurgents within the kingdom of Thailand and there were border skirmishes and a lot of things that went on. So you had to have that joint cooperation between the United States military and the Royal Thai military. And it still goes on today with joint operations like Cobra Gold, which are also held here at the Royal Thai Navy base at Satahit. So thank you, thank you very much to all of the Vietnam era American veterans. The contributions that you made to this great country are why uh, the rest of us veterans and all of us expats from all over the world are able to live in such great freedom here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Your consistent cooperation with the Royal Thai military to defeat the communists and keep Thailand as an independent free nation will forever, forever be remembered. Myself, personally, I've had the opportunity to meet quite a few of these great American veterans from the Vietnam era. And I try to listen real closely to their stories of all the contributions that they've made to Thailand over the years. And I am no expert or historian on all of the events that took place in the Vietnam era. I would encourage you to ask a vet, get with one of these guys that have been here and done all of this stuff for years. And many of them have chosen to remain here in Thailand as an expat and enjoy this great country. But were it not for all of the efforts that they were involved in during the Vietnam era, not only the war in Vietnam, but also the entire uh, freedom of Thailand as we know today, there's a hell of a lot more to the story of the war in Vietnam than just the fall of Saigon itself. These men were great heroes and their contributions are still visible today. All you got to do is look. All you got to do is talk to these guys. Listen to them. They'll educate you. The price of freedom isn't free. It just We watch the great B-52 bomber squads that flew out of Utapau Airport in the defense of freedom. Let us never forget that those American veterans from the Vietnam era, many of them are still here. And unfortunately, we're losing more and more all the time. So when you're given that opportunity to speak to one of these fine gentlemen, please take the time and tell them thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for the Kingdom of Thailand. And enjoy the camaraderie. If you're new to Thailand, or maybe you've been here quite a while and you're an American veteran, but you've never joined one of these great groups, I would encourage you to reach out, reach out to these veterans. When we live so far away from home, living abroad as expats, we often can become recluse and not enjoy our life as much as we should. There's something missing. There's a void. And oftentimes that void is just the social interaction and the camaraderie with people from your native country. So whether you happen to be American or whether you're just an English-speaking expat here in Thailand, I would encourage you to reach out 
to some of these veterans groups throughout the kingdom. I think they will welcome you. You will feel right at home. And at the same time, maybe you too will have a greater appreciation of all the contributions the United States military has made and continues to make here in the Kingdom of Thailand. So the construction project of the Satahip DC Pier and the Utapau Airport was a major undertaking. But I'm sure one of the best favorite spots was right here at the mess hall where these fine gentlemen could take a little bit of a break away from their daily duties and interact with one another. So I hope you enjoy the video today. We're going to get back to the ceremony of the United States Marine Corps birthday. I hope you'll study a little bit more of the history of Thailand during the Vietnam era and after the fall of Saigon and, and understand that these contributions that these great Vietnam era veterans have made are still very, very apparent today. So thank you so much to all of the great Vietnam era veterans. We owe you a debt of gratitude and we can never repay you for what you've done for the kingdom of Thailand. Hoorah! Army guys here! Hoorah! Sure, sure. All right, one, sure. two, three, four army guys, all right? Well, we have two here. Oh, and a, and a couple of four army guys. British you know and Belgium. Yeah. British and Belgium. And a mom. Army. And a mom. I'm no mom, yeah. Okay, have we got any uh, Air Force guys here? Hey, my. Come on. All right, we've got about, about four of them here. All right. Uh, uh, every other place. <laughs> How about the Navy? Come on. Come on. Come on, Doug. The Navy as well. Navy, yeah, he was two. And last but certainly not least, are there any Marines here? Hey. 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 Go! Okay. Please remove your cover. Eternal God, we come to you with grateful hearts for your rich blessings to our country and our military service. For our homeland with its torch of liberty shining bright, helping the helpless and rescuing the oppressed from around the world, we thank you. Through your providence, O oh Lord, you have given our nation a position of high responsibility among the countries of the world, and we plead you for strength to show to the burdens of duty which you have placed upon us. With the tenacity, courage, strength, and skill of fighting Marines, we travel in uncharted waters, at hostile shores, and streaming, seeming jungles, at desert plains, and mud-filled valleys on icy mountains, and rubble strewn cities downrange. These warriors suffered, injured, and many died, serving for flag, families, freedom, and for faith. Today, as we celebrate the 246th birthday, we will never forget the sacrifices of the Marines, including the 241 Marines, sailors, and soldiers who were peacekeepers in Beirut 11 out of 33 years ago. They served with distinction and devotion to duty and ultimately made the ultimate sacrifice. We will never forget these warriors and all the brave Marines for their historic service to our nation. Their example of honor, courage, and commitment in Poland's <coughs> us dedicated ourselves anew to you, your, our country, and our core. Thank you for your everlasting presence and protection and for the sacrifices of all the Marines and their families. <clears throat> As Americans, we continue to enjoy our liberty and freedom because of these heroes, the United States Marine Corps. Bless us now as we reflect on your divine presence and protection in the past. The blessings we enjoy today and the bright future for all freedom-loving Americans. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, for coming. The uh, veterans that we have here, both uh, foreign and domestic, and uh, family, Marines, and friends, thank you so much for joining us. It does mean a great deal to me personally, and I know to everyone else. Um, I have a, a short presentation here. The first thing I want to do is thank our hosts. Uh, Shay and Cal, very generously, when we're talking about having an event to celebrate Veterans Day and the Marine Corps birthday, uh, Shay and Cal stepped up and said, please, let's use the coffee shop. It's a great thing. And then there was a lot of 
one of the things they had to do, they had to uh, go to the police station to get some paperwork and let them know that they were having this thing. And, and so, plus everything else, I mean, just even rearranging the place, it's a lot of work. So thank you very much, Shane and Cal, for hosting us. I uh, really do appreciate it. Additionally, uh, we, we did order some food tonight, some halal food, so we got the meat, meat, meat. It's always a great thing for us, but for our Thai friends, uh, they don't like that stuff. I have no idea why. It's terrific. So, uh, Cal and uh, my wife, Pan, made some Thai food tonight. Ladies, I want to thank you very much for your efforts. Primary mission, the America's Expeditionary Force in Readiness, and that means the primary mission of the Marine Corps is to be able to respond anywhere in the world within 24 hours and to be ready to kill. And that's why we have uh, we have our Marines on ships tonight, sitting there waiting for orders. We have about approximately 187,000 active duty personnel. What is the motto of the Marine Corps? Zebra Fidelis. That's it. And what does that mean? Always, always faithful. faithful. Always faithful. Excellent. Well, where we live, but we have so much in common, in common being veterans. And being veterans here in a foreign country, being expats here, we share so much. And so, kind of reflect on that. And what we're going to do now is, I think we're going to break open the chow. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll come back and the cake cutting is not going to take too long. We've got our oldest Marine, we've got our youngest Marine. I am going to list you, sir, in the uh, cake cutting ceremony. We don't have a sword, but we have a big knife, and I'm going to ask you to do that. Okay? I think I know what to do with the knife. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get something to eat. Yes. Some pulled pork, smoked ham, okay, mm, well, slaw. Mm. They got a. Um, oh, you got bar